the purpose of the conference this morning is just to uh, highlight uh, an incident that occurred yesterday where police attached to our major and organised crime squad in conjunction with the uh, Burley Heads CIB uh, executed a search warrant on some holiday apartments at Burley Heads and as a consequence uh, have recovered uh, two firearms and uh, a large quantity of drugs and, uh, and a bit over $11,000 in cash. Uh, we have um, those items here for you today to take some photographs. Um, and uh, basically that's it. It's, uh, it's, it's an example, I suppose, of, uh, of the Gold Coast ongoing um, targeting of drugs, guns and uh, OMCG gangs. Um, and um, it was a good result yesterday, so do you have any questions about that? So what, there was OMCG relation to this road, was there? Uh, well, what we can say is that the, the two persons arrested have not, that they're not members of OMCG themselves, but one of them is an associate of, a, uh, of the Odin's Warriors in New South Wales. Okay, and what sort of game do you think they were playing at with uh, the guns? Well, that's, uh, you know, that, that would require pure speculation, but, uh, you know, we have two, two persons with uh, a large quantity of drugs and a large quantity of money and uh, two guns. So, you know, it doesn't take uh, Einstein to work it out. Were the guns loaded? No. So there was no ammunition? Uh, there is ammunition there, yes, there is ammunition, but the gun wasn't loaded when located. And there was some form of disguise, was there, or balaclavas or masks? Uh, a couple of masks were located as well, and, uh, and that's subject of a, of a separate investigation. So do you think they may have been doing hold-ups, or are you looking at that possibility? Correct, we're looking at that possibility. Was it a public tip-off, or how did you find out what they uh, I can't uh, go into the into the uh, you know, the source of the information, but uh, needless to say, it's a part of our ongoing targeting of these uh, types of uh, criminals. And how much do you think everything that was found in in the unit was worth? Uh, no, look, I haven't gone through that at this point in time. But there's a, you know, there's a thousand tablets. There's a bit over a thousand tablets. There's over a hundred grams of powder, um, plus uh, just over eleven thousand dollars in cash, a and the quantity of cannabis too. So, I mean, with the guns and the drugs, it must be good to have this off the streets. My word, it's a that's a large quantity of drugs. Certainly, a large quantity of drugs. And uh, and as I say, there are now two more guns off the street. Uh, the major organised crime squad since uh, the commencement of the firearms team in August of last year has now seized uh, 92 guns, so uh, it's, it's an excellent result. And could there be on, from this investigation, could this be ongoing? May you, may, you may discover other things these people are involved in, or other people may be charged? Well, uh, again, um, we, we have an ongoing investigation. I can't really speculate on, on which way that's going to go or what the likely results are. But at any given time, we have a number of uh, operations running, and uh, you know, from time to time, we get these results. Okay. Are, are you able to just say no if you can't? But can you update us on the murder investigation? Uh, at this stage, uh, we're not releasing any further information other than to say that the investigation is continuing. Um, I, I can say, or I can uh, reinforce our previous public appeal that, that we're particularly interested in hearing from any person or any persons who were in that vicinity um, of Old Burley Road, uh, George Street, Anne Street, Mary Street and Margaret Street, between that period of about 4am till 5.30. We would just like them to come forward so they can be eliminated. Obviously uh, as a part of our inquiries we have identified the fact that some people have been on those streets um, during that time and we haven't located them all. So we would, we would uh, appreciate it if the media could put that out there. Uh, anybody that was even on those streets during those times, uh, Mary Street, Margaret Street, Anne Street, George Street, Old Burley Road, uh, just, to, just to contact the police so that uh, we can remove that part from the investigation. Are you still looking for a weapon or did you locate an area where he was killed? Look, we, we haven't um, located a specific area, but we, but we, um, you know, we have a, a few theories. And, and as I say, the, the investigation is ongoing at this stage and I can't really comment on any of the operational issues.